mobility of the Colorado State offense. The guys play with the edge, you know. Playing the, they played against a good Colorado team. You know, came up short, but you know they still came out to play. They pulled a couple tricks out, you know, trying to get their best effort and then bounce back against uh, another opponent that probably wasn't, you know. But you know they played best. They played the best of the building. We gonna get their best shot. Any guys along the offensive line stick out to you? I played against uh, 69 last year. Man, to go to left tackle, to right tackle. You know, we seen each other this week again. You know, we go to war. Uh, what are you seeing from uh, Soli over there? And his first career start. Uh, Maturity. Maturity he had to grow quick, and I told him that when he first got here. I mean, Soli's from Atlanta, like like myself, and I knew him. And when we went home and stuff like that, I was always telling him about you know the dream that we had, of, you know, doing this and you know being great. Told him he was always gonna be a freshman All American, how his you know stature was gonna build and continue, and we hold him to a higher standard. What's it been like for you just kind of having to shepherd all these freshmen around? Just be positive. They, they're not looking for anybody to be in their face and telling them what to do and how to do it. You just got to show them. You got to be positive. You got to continue to bring that energy and juice. Well, they're not going to do it as well. You know, they, these guys are uh, 19. You know, David Porter's 20. You know, I came in with David even as a uh, Juco transfer. You know, David's a pretty experienced stuff like that. But these guys just want to show that there's positivity and there's a chance out here. Yeah, so I think you're second or third on the team in tackles through two games. Just, how would you assess your play through two weeks? I could, I could definitely play better. I could definitely play better. Just continue to buy in with the scheme, continue to be at my best, and you know lead this guy, lead these guys, and continue to be at his best. And I have my team trusting me to do my job. Hey, sir, if you are going to ask sure. this, but you know, seeing the start, you guys got three senior ends. Pretty quick, you're down to one senior end. Kind of what's that like? I know you were a leader anyway, but with with so many young guys, especially the true freshmen, I mean, what's it been like? You almost feel like you're kind of babysitting guys. Not at all. Not at all. These guys are mature. You know, they're going to continue to grow up. Most of these guys are here during the spring. So, you know, I already had experience with them. And they're going to be just fine. You know, I told them this ain't their team next year. It's their team now. I talked to them right around uh, second quarter, late second quarter, after uh, the sack I had. And I told them about the experience that was. I told them that, you know, I'm glad I got to share this moment with them. This is my first. Tonight could be their first. Continue to play on his own. Yeah, what was, was the, what was the feeling of the, the first sack for you the other night? God is a timely, it's God, it's a, God's a timely God, you know, it's, it's never, there's never nothing that you have to pretty much wait for, it was always meant to happen at that moment, and, you know, I just stayed the course and you did my job, it was in the system for that to happen, so I just made the play when the time was come. As much as you were leading the group, you know, in the off season and in the summer and in the camp, you had to step it up even more with, with Dorian going down and Mario being hurt? Not at all, not at all, same guy every day. Positive, bring a lot of energy. Let's have fun. Let's go out here. Let's play. It's never a dull moment with these guys in that room. Never a dull moment. How did you think you know, Mattel played in his first start? He was a little nervous to come to jump. I mean, he was at Ole Miss when, when his pop was um, was actually coaching there when he was younger. So, right. you know, he was, he was happy for him to be there and stuff like that. But once he got those gyms out, he played fast. He continued to be better and, you know, just buy into the system. He's going to make plays regardless. I think Zach and Colin played a fair amount too. What you think of those guys? Uh, Colin Clay. That's the TNA right there. That's the, that's the man. That boy's big. 6'5, 290. He's powerful. Zach Williams is super fast. And you know, one of the most athletic guys on the field. And he just, those guys continue to buy him with the playbook. They know exactly what they're doing. They're going to make plays. They're going to be just comfortable. And, and Eric, you know, he, he was out during camp, and I guess he's kind of working his way back. If he can play this week, what could he add to the mix? Eric got a mixture of speed and power. So it'd be about 270. You know, he's going to continue to, you know, be there when, whenever we need him, stuff like that. Him and um, uh, David, David Porter. Hey, did you get your hand on the ball when Corral popped up in the air and Joe got it, or did you just kind of I got him, like, right here on the forearm, just enough to pop it up. I actually had to play the pitch, so I had to be between it just to buy time for my guys. Just got enough of it. You know, I get, I'm guessing the, the coaches don't have to motivate you much to, for this game against Colorado State Not after at all. that last year. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. We self self led, you know, player led. We'll continue to go out there, do our thing. Well, I'm not sure how much you played last year. How much did you play last year in that game? Pretty much the whole game. Yeah. I probably came out four series. I think they outscored you all 17 zip in the fourth quarter. What do you remember about, you know, look at you guys had the game in hand, they had a big comeback. What do you remember about that? Execution. Execution on the back end. Uh, what we practice, 
you know, when a team is up, like when a, when a team has a momentum and stuff like that, when the time is doesn't necessarily on your side, you have to let them score in order to give your offense a chance instead of, you know, giving them positions where they can go to kick the field goal. They scored, but we, we didn't execute like we should on defense, you know, in order to, to our standard, which is best. And when we practice on Thursdays, you know, we just got to execute. How critical is this game this week just to kind of get back on track? Very. We can't let Ole Miss beat us twice. We're not playing Ole Miss, but we can't take one L and then make it two. You know, we should get back on the same track, bring the same energy, get the same juice, continue to. How important is just winning at home and keeping that going? Yeah, defend the home turf. Get the fans, you know, just the reason to continue to believe. With Colorado State, you know, that, that was a tough loss. And, and like Coach Morris said, it kind of led into the loss the next week and the tough, what became a tough season. Do you guys feel like, hey, you owe these guys something? You know, Colorado State victory? We owe it to ourselves. From what we went through, people don't understand exactly what we went through this this fall, this uh, winter and stuff like that. They don't understand what we went through. We owe it to ourselves to go out here and be at our best. Now that Nick's named the starter as the defense and the, and the whole team kind of rallied behind that? I don't care who's in the pocket. Let's go out here and win some games. Not the ball, line up, wherever you want to. Let's go. What would you take on Colorado State's um, offensive for the FERES and that power play? Excuse me, don't read all that. We're going to get our best. You know what they bring in. What do you think of their offense? Like the quarterback, he didn't play much last year. He was coming off knee surgery. And yeah. I think he's thrown for almost 800 yards these first two games. That's okay. I mean, we've been preparing different for other quarterbacks because of the running style. And, you know, we're just we're going to pressure them. That's our goal. We're going to pressure them. We're going to line up. They're the same defense we usually play. One more. Thanks, Gabe. Thanks, Gabe.